Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. It's been a few weeks since we did some nail art and it seems that pom-poms are popping up everywhere at the moment. So I thought I'd do some fun back to school water marble pom-pom nail. So that and you've had a couple. Stay tuned to find out how. So although this pom-pom makeup has been popping up in my Facebook feed this week, it appears it's from around about May time this year, but I liked the look of it and I had some pom-poms so I wanted to have a go. And as always I'm going to begin by cleansing my nails with 99% isopropyl alcohol and it appears there's a hair stuck in my top coat. Yes my nails are quite a bit shorter than normal. I competed in Total Warrior a few weeks ago for the National Artistic Society. There's a link down below in the description if you did want to sponsor me as my page is still open. But I had to chop them down quite a bit to make sure that I could climb over all the huge ridiculous obstacles. And I did it without breaking any nails. Back to the tutorial, I'm just applying my usual peel off base coat from Unt, get it nice and even and don't forget to cap those ends. Now on the little finger, the index finger and the thumb I'm going to apply this beautiful Morgan Taylor colour which is P.S. I love you. I absolutely love this colour, it's one of my favourite lilacs however unusually for Morgan Taylor it does actually require three coats. Make sure that first coat is really nice and neat and even and it makes it a lot quicker applying your second and ideally with this colour your third. And I'm just going to show you quickly applying my second and my third coat just to see why and on the second you can see that there's still some patchiness and it's quite hard to get a good coverage. So once we go in with that third layer it has got that beautiful fully opaque creamy finish. Then on the middle and ring finger I'm going in with OPI's Alpine Snow and this is my favourite white. It's that right balance where if you just apply it carefully you can get a fully opaque coverage in one coat but it's not all gloopy and hard to work with, it's really nice. And once your polish is dry I'm going to go in with my Twinkle Tea Lace Liquid Latex and apply this nice and neatly all around the skin around the nail. Try and get it as close as you can to the actual nail polish just because it will make clean up so much easier when we water marble. A little extra hint would be to also just follow around on the underside of your finger too, it just helps with that clean up again. Now using my white, my lilac and my dark purple which you might have seen me use before which is do you have this colour in Stockholm and twinkle tea dotting tools. And I'm going to use a tea light holder which I just have regular room temperature tap water in. If you want to know any hints and tips for water marbling I have a very depressingly long and tedious and slightly dull video from when I first began really on YouTube but it does have all of my hints and tips in it. It is a bit painful though to listen to and watch so it's entirely up to you but I've linked it in the top right corner and I'm just going in with my white lilac purple lilac white and back and forth and back and forth it doesn't have to fill the whole bowl it's just enough that you can get a design in for your nails and then taking the needle point dotting tool I'm going to draw out to the sides first you can do it all different ways but this is my preferred way and then pull in from the next colour in from the white. I use that white to try and anchor the design and stop it from tearing. In between each dip I'm actually wiping my dotting tool clean on a pad dipped with acetone and that helps to stop the design from tearing. And you'll notice when I go to the centre I dip down to anchor it. And I particularly want it so that they sort of have a mirror effect between the middle and the ring finger. So I'm applying it with the centre of the design down the side of the nail. Put your finger in tip down first or the end of your nail in first at an angle and it helps to stop air bubbles. And then just wipe the excess nail polish off the surface of the water whilst you've got your finger submerged. If it still seems a bit wet then just blow on it which is what I was doing as I'm actually wiping it off. And when you've cleaned all the nail polish off the surface of the water it's safe to remove your finger because your design won't be ruined by any excess polish left behind. Then using an orange wood stick or a dotting tool we're just going to break that seal around the nail. And you can see I'm just trying to be careful enough here that we've got a nice clean line around that nail. I'm just going to find a nice loose edge on my liquid latex to loosen it enough that I can get a pair of scissors in because this is now like a perfect circle of liquid latex and I don't want to ruin my design on my nail when I tear it off. I've just snipped it carefully with some scissors and then I'm going to pull it all off the nail. I love how perfect it looks when you've pulled it off. 
and I'm using the back of a cuticle tool here just to pat down any air bubbles that are in the design and I'm doing it very carefully with this metal tool because then it won't catch that polish and mark it. Now I'm going to do the other finger so we're doing exactly the same thing again and we're just going to create our nice water marble polish design. The only thing I would say is you can only use your water once for each time you create a design. So if you're trying to reuse your water and having problems then that could well be the issue is that you have some residue left in the water. I find tap water about 18 degrees celsius is absolutely perfect. If you're in a very hard water area then I would say use a bottled water instead. I have trialled about seven or eight brands of bottled water and I found Evian to be the best one. I'm just going to imitate the same design that I did last time and although I'm only going to be using one side of this design I am doing it on both sides so I can pick the best out the two. And if you wanted rather than have to apply one nail at a time we could just do this design and then apply both nails at once into that one design. I just decided to do the two separately because I wanted a greater level of control. And when it's time to put in your second finger that you want to do, then just be careful how you actually line up the design. I wanted it to look like they were mirror images of each other and I very nearly messed it up. So exactly the same as last time, clean the extra polish off the surface of the water before you remove your finger because it can actually ruin the design for you. And this one has come out really well. <laughs> it's strange. Exactly the same colours and exactly the same colour ratio, but this one looks more white than the other one. And so once you've cleaned up and removed that liquid latex, which is so satisfying, and I wish I knew about this years ago when I first started water marbling. Look at that, hardly any cleaning up to do. But for clean up, this is my favourite brush from Dixie Girl and it's linked in the description. And I'm using pure acetone just to clean up any excess bits of polish from around the nail. Because I want these nails to look absolutely perfect, I am going in with a fine detail brush just to cover up some of where the designs come away from the fingernail. You don't necessarily have to do this, I just wanted to because I wanted more emphasis on the lilac. Now it's pom pom time! And these are just from Asda, which is Walmart in the US. And all I'm going to do to them is snip a bit off the bottom so we've got a flat surface to stick to the nail. And these really are tiny pom poms tiny pom pom. We're going to apply our top coat onto the nail and I'm going to apply this quite generously and this is the HK Girl Glisten and Glow top coat. Now I'm applying it generously for two reasons. One is I would be absolutely devastated if I smeared the design at this late stage and secondly I want to be able to really embed my pom pom into that top coat so it doesn't budge. Pick up your pom pom with a pair of tweezers and with the flat side, push it right down at the base of the nail. Make sure it's firmly adhered, and then I'm going back in and I'm really applying some pressure there, and that's to make sure that all that top coat soaks into the fibres to hold it in place. I'm just going to clean up any areas that I've missed with my top coat or with my colour coat. And again, that's using a brush dipped in acetone. And on the water marbled fingers, I've applied a very pale lilac pom-pom. So on my lilac fingers, I'm going to top coat and then apply my dark purple pom-pom. How many times do I say pom-pom in this video? So again, just push down on your pom-pom and hold it into place. Just do it for a couple of seconds, probably about 10 seconds max, because this is a quick dry top coat, so it does adhere very quickly. Then we're ready to apply our favourite cuticle oil to the area around the nails. Try to not get it on your pom-pom. And then massage it in. And here are the finished nails. Now, when I came up with this sort of idea of what I was going to do, I did keep thinking, you know, there's a limit to like nailing the trend, but I actually really, really like these. They're so cute. They remind me of like a little pair of delicate 50s slippers. And the pom-poms are really stuck down well. Okay, there might be germ issues and hygiene problems and, you know, practicalities and stain issues. But other than that, these are fun. These are fun back to school nails. These are fun back to school nails. And what's wrong with having a bit of fun? I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and click subscribe for more videos every week. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification of when I upload. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos. I'll see you next week.